It's your big sis T Renee and I am back today with another story time. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so much for tuning in. And to all my new subbies, I see y'all. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. I'm hoping that you continue to come back and stay subscribed. And I'm hoping that the content that I provide everyone is something that you all enjoy. So as y'all can see. <laughs> I am working, but I know I need to give y'all this content. I know I probably look rough because y'all it's hot as hell out here. Y'all know how it is. I mean, yeah, maybe y'all don't. I don't know. If you're in the trucking business, then you kind of have an idea of how things can be. But anyway, it's hot as hell. But I know I needed to get y'all this video. I've been busy this week, but I'm going to make sure I give the people that tune in to my platform the content that I promised that I would give. I try to make sure I provide at least two videos each week but the more i grow on this platform the more content that i'll provide each week but anyway y'all that just that little rent there you had already seen the title of today's video you have some idea of what this story time is going to possibly be about before we get to that make sure y'all go ahead and drop down below in the comment section and leave a hey girl hey what's up big sis again i always say it is all greatly appreciated i love to engage with you all on this platform and just make sure y'all keep everything respectful anyway let's get to it tonight so today's story time is gonna be about just work relationships um i recently started a series to where i was going to be talking about the different relationships i had at work whether it's somebody that i was like talking to dating or friendships and things like that um that's basically what this series is going to be about and it's basically the series of lead on people at work <laughs> some people you just have to lead them at work and don't invite them outside of work in your private personal life or whatever you want to call that the character in today's story time is going to be what's well, going to be two people that i'm going to be talking about this person his name is lawrence so lawrence was this guy that um i was talking to we basically how we met of course at the job i'm not going to say what job it was but i was working basically in a big retail chain and yeah and at the time what was i working at i was working at like yeah i'm not gonna say because then y'all may i don't know but yeah basically we had like different departments you know how it is in retail departments you have retail chains you have different departments and things like that so i was working at one and he was working in the other but sometime you know how they may need help in one department and i will go help in another department um sometime on the registers and things like you know go help in other departments rather to ring up pick customers you know do some inventory whatever it was stock some stuff i mean help out customers it doesn't matter you know and a lot of times we'll make commission off of customers and it's like, it don't matter matter but anyway so yeah i met him helping out in his area and you know you just some people you bond with right off and some people you don't and of course we did and over time we found out that we had a lot in common we had some of us we had very similar interests and in things like different hobbies that we like to do of course during that time we probably used to like to hang out and go party and clubs and drink and that's just the basics but it was so many other things that we had in common that we like to do hobbies that most people around our age or i don't know it, just certain hobbies that we were interested in most people in my life in his life probably wasn't interested in it don't really matter so you know we kind of like bonded over things like that over time we started hanging out outside of work and we spent a little more time together but also during this time y'all and he didn't really say it first he had and i used to hear a lot about this particular girl and so the lady that i'm talking about in this story her name is going to be we're gonna call her stephanie stephanie was probably a little bit younger than us like i don't know it just seems like every time i'm talking to somebody it's always some little young girl involved trying to date these guys or be smothered i don't, I don't know anyway so yeah it that, that, that doesn't really matter the point <laughs> that doesn't really matter but one thing about stephanie that is a big factor is that she was a married woman 
But y'all, you would not think that this girl was married the way she used to chase at the Lawrence. It's like, oh my goodness, like, and I didn't know this. You know, like I said, I used to hear certain things like about this girl that was, um, she was stalking this married man. Like she was upset. Well, I'm not gonna say stalking, but she was obsessed over him. She's married. And every time she see him talking to some girl, she wanna fight them. Y'all, that was not lying because the moment this girl started seeing me around her more, she started coming, like we would speak and you know how a few little conversations here and there, me and the girl, you know, in this, you know, in these environments, you, you talk to different employees. Y'all might not become the best of work friends or whatever you want to call it, but we talked and we was cool. But the moment she found out or saw me hanging around him, him coming up to me at work, of course she questioned it. And at the time, like I said, I didn't really, I knew the girl like nickname or something like that. And I would speak, but it'd be so many times where I'd be talking to people and I never know their names. <laughs> and she was one of those girls, like I knew like a nickname she had out there. But at the time I, I wasn't really putting the two and two together because they was calling her by her real name. Um, what, like what I call her Stephanie. And so, yeah. And so she started acting real weird. You know how women be, they just start acting all strange. I'm like, okay, you ain't gotta speak to me. I don't really give a shit, you know? I'm like, I mean, but you do notice when somebody just stops speaking to you. I mean, just a simple hello, you notice it. I'm, and she will just walk by and, and and not even say shit. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Maybe she's having a bad day. But I noticed she kept doing it for like the entire week. Like a whole week went by. She just walked by, did not speak, didn't even look my way. But so the following week, she comes up to me and she's like, um, um, are you the new girl talking to Lawrence? I'm like, um, are we, are, am I? <laughs> and she was like, oh, you don't, have, you don't have to have an attitude. I was like, I don't have an attitude. I'm just saying, like, am I the new girl talking to Lawrence? Because me, one thing about it, I'm not about to argue with you about no damn man. And especially if you're being disrespectful, especially if you're going to come to me on some disrespectful stuff off top. And her whole body her whole demeanor and her body language spoke that she had an issue and so me of course i was being a condescending ass so i guess you know like am i and so she ugh, you don't have to have attitude and like walks off and then she stops and turns around she was like uh-uh um he he does have a girl that he's talking to here do you know who his girlfriend is i'm like as far as i'm concerned no, and I really do not care because we're just cool. Like, we, this ain't my boyfriend or nobody like that. I mean, I'm like, and if the girlfriend has an issue, then she should have come to me. Why is she sending you to come ask me these questions? It's like, whatever, and walks off. So, of course, I see him later around our lunch, and I tell him that the girl at the time, Stephanie, that I knew, the nickname I gave her, the nickname, whatever, I can't remember her nickname was, some cookie, cookie or somebody, I don't remember what the fuck her nickname was, some, some of that nature, I tell him about that girl, he's like, huh, yeah, yeah, we, and he kind of like breaks down like, yeah, I was talking to her for a little hot minute, and then I found out she had a dude, and so, you know, I kind of backed up, he's like, but I didn't stop talking to her completely, I just kind of like bagged off the extra stuff that we was doing, you know, he said, I was still, you know, messing with her because they was having a sexual relationship, he's like, but man, she started acting real crazy, anytime I would just have a conversation with somebody, she started flipping out, and then, I don't know, he said a whole bunch of other crap. I was like, nah. I said, yeah, she came to me talking about some, you know. I said, nah, that ain't what she said. She came to me on some, she's looking out for your girlfriend that you got out here back. I'm like, he's like, nah, she's talking about herself. I said, oh, so that's the Stephanie girl. That, and he kind of like explained like, yeah, she, she she started being real obsessive anytime she would see me talking to somebody, like lurking around. He's like, man, I could be talking, be anywhere, ducked off somewhere that you wouldn't even think she would know I was at in this building. And here she come lurking around, popping up. I said, oh, so you the guy and she's the girl that everybody is saying been real obsessed with this guy and stalking him. He's like, I guess so, you know. I was like, yeah, I've been hearing this, so that's her. So fast forward, 
she see me and him talking in a cab and then in a little break room or whatever so she walks over there oh so this who you messing around with this who you messing with you ignore my phone calls you ignore my text messages He's like, man, go on home to your girl, to your wife. Go on me, go on home to your husband. Why is you over here in my face, man? Why are you doing all this? Like, it ain't even like that. Like, we ain't together. What is you tripping about? Some sh they had like this little spat or whatever. So of course it's other people in the break room. And then you got some people walking in the hallway. They all coming there. The girl making a big scene, walking up on me like, you need to leave him alone. It's always. Because I always bitch like you coming around trying to mess up what I got going on. And you got people in the background like, damn, but ain't you married? Like, what is you doing? What is you doing? So she going all off. And all for like an entire month, that girl will walk up on me like, bitch, stupid hell. Just crazy. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, girl, please. And then anytime, like I said, anytime she would see that man talking to me, he could be talking to other women. At this point, she didn't she didn't even care. She'd be joking and laughing with them. She'd be smiling at them, hey girl. But when it comes to me, y'all, that girl would come up uh, and say little snot, little snide ass remarks. I'm like, what is up with this one? I mean, what it is is that I really feel like she felt the way because he really was doing stuff with me that he claimed that they was gonna do. Because he started telling me stuff that they was planning on doing, but like when he found out about the husband and the, I guess her and the husband was going through a, a, a separation, or whatever. Basically, and I'm like, basically they still married. They separate, but they still married. I was like, before she tried to move into a situation with somebody else, she need to work that shit out. Because a lot of times the husband could come back around and retaliate or be mad because they not over. I'm like, so much drama could come with that. You can be in some real serious stuff with this marriage crap like i said you right you needed to step away and leave it alone and we still don't have a conversation like this one day and i guess she was looking around outside the break room because we're in the break room talking and she's be i'm worried about my y'all the girl slides walking up on me like squaring i'm like she ready to fight i'm like oh my goodness baby girl i said one thing we not about to do is be fighting over no man i said the one thing i will do is beat your ass over the disrespect that you've been giving me i'm like i've been letting that shit slide for for about a month or so but baby girl if this man wanted to be with you and only you he would do that i was like and we ain't even a couple we just hanging out we we basically talking i'm like i really ain't gotta tell you all that but since this will help your ass sleep at night it ain't nothing going on like what you and him had going on if you must know since he won't seem to tell you the shit that did not stop this girl from trying to walk up on me and fight me y'all <laughs> baby the way i was ready to swing up on this bitch but obviously you know the other people management or whatever did not like that shit they were like but well, y'all both still got into an argument blah 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 they really was trying to like get rid of us fire us over some shit that i had nothing to do with i said i'm the one being harassed and he's being stalked she been coming up cussing me out over this man i'm like i i never came to her on no disrespectful stuff i said she came to me i said but one thing she's not about to do is continue to come to me on a disrespectful stuff i said she been coming up cussing me out walking up on me ready to try to like she finna hit me but y'all yeah, they really was trying to fire both of us over this but over time yeah i, I just thought i just kept complaining on her i kept like i actually started recording the conversations on my phone like i kept like putting my video on because i don't even think at the time no at the time we didn't have the option to record people's voices like record on our phones i don't think so i would just put my video on and just press and play it so they can pick up the conversation because what you're not about to do is make me lose my little money girl over this dude and i don't even want he like me and we kicking it but y'all a lot of men, they love that. They love to see women fighting over there. He would not say shit. And I got on him about that because I was like, why you ain't stopping it? You, you can stop this. I was like, you loving this shit, huh? So eventually, I just got tired. I said, you know what? You ain't even trying to stop that because he obviously still was screwing her because why is she doing all that? Baby girl, I don't really care, but you should have told me that you sleeping with this girl and me and you just hanging out, you know? And if, and if it was any chance of us becoming more than that, you mess that up because I don't want to deal with no man juggling the same two women at the same place. Like it can't be like that. Like if you're gonna be dating me and somebody else, make sure the person don't work with us. Cause no, come on, no. And again, lead on people ass to work, baby. Because I don't have time or the energy. <laughs>
that's why like i said he's a contributor of leave them people ass at work but eventually this chick got fired y'all like <laughs> and it wasn't because of just me but it was some other stuff she was getting into it about some other stuff constantly being late to work and then i think her, her husband had some situation at the job and they was like no you can't bring that here like but they was outside or whatever and then i think her and lawrence end up getting into it it's just it was a whole bunch of crap so yes they eventually let her ass go but y'all that girl kept coming up there and somehow this chick got my phone number and the chick was playing on my phone and how i knew it was her because she ended up slipping up one time and she called me from some number we didn't have like those text now numbers then but she called me from some number and i can hear her like talking in the background like she didn't cut off her voice like she block, blocked the it was some yeah number she called from somebody's phone i guess but i heard her voice i know her voice and so i didn't say nothing to her but she ended up coming back up there another time. And I'm like, why are they still letting this girl come up in this store? I mean, granted, she can be a paying customer. But if you're causing problems and you're trying to threaten other employees, they should not let you back up in here. But anyway, y'all, that's that on that. Um, I may bring her back up because it is other things that happened. And it was other times that she would come back up there on some harassment type stuff. Still playing on my phone. But anyway, I'm going to stop this right here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And again, this is just the introduction into the Lead on People at Work series. This is probably my second entry. Anyway, you guys. But before we leave here today, make sure y'all go ahead and get this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, but keep it respectful. Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that and you're constantly tuning in. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It costs nothing to subscribe, you guys. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.